we sort of came together um, in early 2013, Brian and I. I mean, he was he were the two secretaries of the two headquarters, and uh, nothing was really. It's interesting happening. where we came together too, wasn't it? Richard? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to pick up on uh, that? No, feel free. Okay. Well, in at the beginning of some uh, members who hear this might remember that January the 23rd of, of uh, 2013, we launched our new temple in, in London. And uh, Brian and, and many others actually came over for that event. And, and in case of Brian, help us to, to perform the ritual for that opening. Uh, and as a Californian, it, I just want to jump in. It was snowing very hard on that day. <laughs> just <laughs> just was, saying. It was actually snowing, wasn't it, on the day of the it opening? Was. It wasn't a great day to pick in many ways, <laughs> but, you know, certainly not weather-wise, but it was a perfect day in terms of it was his birthday, um, birth date. But after that, we, uh, Brian and I went on it. We decided to go up to Gisborough, actually, and especially to Rosebury Topping. And uh, Rosebury Topping, in fact, uh, is... Um, a place with great significance to Dr. King, both in his childhood and in his mystical pilgrimage that he undertook in 1978. And we thought no better place to really try and get some inspiration and really try and get this going um, and, and, and get a plan. We must do this biography, especially while people you know, are, are around who actually knew him very well. Right. And off we went up there and one thing that happened just shortly after the uh, opening of our temple was one of our members uh, was a former sub-editor at a major world magazine and was asking about the biography and uh, I was telling her the plan which still existed of these eight or nine people doing different bits and she said well doesn't it need a voice and uh, that was a professional opinion. Um, and I had to, you know, it stopped me in my tracks and Brian also when I told him. And so the long and the short of it is we went up to, we did a pilgrimage to Rosebury Topping, a wonderful experience, not good weather, but a wonderful experience. Went back to uh, Gisborough Hall Hotel, where the centenary event's taking place. And there we drew up a plan together. Uh, which we then presented to the Board of International Directors. I think, I think you've, you've brought up a couple of very interesting points there, which is that um, you, know, you walked in the footsteps of our master to Rosebury Topping. You, you've conceived this plan there. Um, that's what we're doing as part of actually the, the centenary weekend. But yeah. it's actually something that you did together many times during the course of the writing of the biography, making these, well, for want of a better word, pilgrimages to different places in America and Great Britain um, yeah. to sort of, walk in his footsteps and I wondered if you could share a little bit about some of these places he went to and their significance um, in this collaboration process of, of, of writing the book together yes um, anything you want to say on that Brian before I do well it, it was um, we went to several very very important places in our master's um, history in his childhood especially and it was, for me, uh, being from America and then residing in California for so many years, it was it really helped me get into uh, a greater tune um, with uh, Dr. King's um, upbringing and where he came from. And uh, because the small towns uh, of England are just a world of difference, a uh, world away from where um, I spent so many years with Dr. King in Los Angeles, and it really helped me get a, a better understanding of, of the vibe, shall we say, uh, mm -hmm. of Dr. King. And, and I also want to say, too, it was very helpful for um, Richard and I to go to these places together because it, yeah. it kind of almost behind the scenes created a, uh, a joint vision um, Yes, in, in, not even in our minds so much, but in, in our in our aura, you could even say that. Uh, and then mm -hmm. the process then kind of developed, so it kind of came to the surface, kind of. That's true. That's very true. And I think it's quite an intangible thing to say exactly what he did. It was much more mm. than research. Mm. Sort of was an attunement and an attunement mm. that we were doing together, as Brian said. Some of the places we went to, as well as, well as Gisborough and, and Rosebury Topping in this country, went to a place called Donington Wood uh, mm. near Wellington in Shropshire, where he was actually born. That was wow. important. We went to a place called St. Moore's in Cornwall, where that he was had very this, memorable. 
St. Lawrence. Very. He had a 65-hour meditation there uh, in 1955, I believe it was. And that's where he conceived the Ethereum Society symbol in, in St. Moore's. Um, we, you know, we, we went to Avebury uh, and mm. uh, that area mm. which where there's an entrance to the Mother Earth through which he had travelled at a very significant time, very significant trip. Those are just some of the places in this country. And then for me, um, when we were in America, and um, Brian and Ashima and Alison and I went round some of the spots where Operation Powerlight had taken place, right at the end of his life, 